Hi everyone, this is the third video of our series into a machine learning project. Uh, especially, we talk about the regression in this uh, series. In this particular video, we will mostly talk about the data visualization. As you can see, we have this template for the any data science lifecycle project. So, as you can see, this is some of the points we have written in the first video that we will follow for any data science project and you can see in previous two video we have done the problem identification business understanding and data collection part so that's why i have I just marked that we have done and in previous video and this video also we are mostly doing the data uh, pre-processing and the analysis of the data so let's go and open our main file in the main file first we have to select a virtual environment that we have created in our first video that is watch price and then we will run all the sale so it will rerun all the code that we have written in first and second video if you have not seen that video i will highly recommend to first go through that video and then come here in the third part as you can see in last we have done the data profiling and in data profiling we have learned some of the things about our data and we have seen some of the graphs related to the data but this particular video is mostly going to focus about the manual data visualization why the manual data visualization is required honestly it's not required but some cases you may need to do these things especially when we have to see the data distribution and we had you have to analyze the outliers on the data for these two factors we have to do some of the major manual visualization and also it's always recommended that you know how to do manual visualization and with the manual visualization you also able to build some of the reports that you quickly want to share with your teammates and all right so let's start in the data visualization i have written a small note here so we mostly do by univariate plotting and the multivariate plotting so in this video is only going to focus about on this five graphs in first is the histogram density box and then we have a correlation matrix and a scatter plots some of the plots that i have written here is also there in the data profiling like the like the scatter plot or or the correlation matrix these things are there uh, in our data profiling part also and also some of the project like histogram is also there in the data profiling so but in this video we will do it manually right and then in last we will try to understand some of the things that we are going to do right so let's start so first we have to import two package one is the matplotlib and another is the cbot if two package is mostly going to be in your uh, this uh, virtual environment but if it is not there please go and install through pip or conda i am just importing matplotlib dot I have got I have the SMS and then I will hit run. So I have imported the Seaborn and Matplotlib. Now first what what we have to do? We have to remove some of the unwanted data from the numerical data list. So if I print numerical data list, see I have to remove these two things right so what i will do i will basically remove that one so like numerical data that remove so first what i will do index so we don't have to we don't see these kind of graph based on these two things because this is not going to do any useful information in our project so i simply remove and then i run so you can see 
this all data has removed now the first thing we will do is uh, histogram plot okay. so what we will do we'll first use the subplot and in subplot i will just keep the number of row i want two row right and then number of columns so i want three columns so as you can see here is a six data uh, six columns are there so for each column i want a separate graph on the histogram right and for that what i will do i will create two columns and uh, sorry two rows and three columns and after that i will give the figure size fix size and that would be 14 is to 10 you can play around this one with this one and then run it okay or you can then do in you will use enumeration and to look through all the data so that you can get the index also and the column also right and then what we will do i will first create a raw for first graph and column for first graph i divided by three and then i will create one axis that we will pass to each graph so in axis so what i will do row and then column so i think this will be so it will not conflict and then i will just use sns dot hist plot right hist plot is used for the histogram right and then i will just pass the data so data is equal to train df and then i have to pass this column and then provide one axis right and try to run it oh sorry also what we have to do we have to write the plot dot so okay so it's saying that matplot is not using the not using the backend so it might happen that this this jupyter notebook is not using some of the things that will help them to display on the gui for that i think we can use this magic word that not leave in line okay and then i can try to run it okay as you can see current price versus count right so current price versus count is not looking in a normal distributed format it's a right skewed skewed data is there so there is a skewness in the data and it is a right skewed is also a right skewed data and also this is a left skewed data this is a left skewed and this is a right skewed data so these data are the skewed data so when we do some when we are working on the data manipulation or the feature engineering part we will do some of the things to make these data in a normal distributed format because some of the algorithms in the linear regression require by default that data should be normally distributed right so one thing we have got now let's see go and see other graphs second second what we will do second mostly we are going to do a kd plot so this density plot we are going to do this density plot density plot also we can append here if i think kd is there and if i do it true it might work oh you can see it is working but also if you want to do it separately what you will do to simply just copy this code and paste here and instead of that you can simply write kde and then what do you need to pass one more thing you need to pass fill it is not a mandatory term but if you doing this separately then always recommended to use the fill 
so that fill is nothing it's doing it's filling the data right if you see in this graph there is no fill inside this one right but here it's filling the data uh, graph so it's look more promising to us in this one you can clearly see that data is very very much skewed and we have to do some of the data manipulation to make it normally distributed again let's go and do one more thing so simply we will paste this one and what we will do we will simply write this as box plot and i think we have to remove this one and after that one more thing we have to write like figure dot tight layout and then if i run you can see it's giving a box plot for us right so in the box plot it's a box and plot so let make it box plot so actually in the box plot uh, we will find out what are the outliers right so as here you can see these are the outliers we have and this one also we have outlier there are so many outliers in the different different and data if you want to, to do some of the other labeling part you can do like access you can set uh, x label as columns I know there is a typing in a typo in this one but okay it's not a problem we will remove these outliers when we are doing data manipulation part okay after that one more important graph we will do is the pair plot so in the pair plot we will see one against other that how is the relationship between, say between let's say example between the current price and the original price right so simply we will do pair plot and we will pass simply the data frame and if i run so pair plot will take some time to gen as you can see we are getting a pair plot so in this one you can simply check what are the relationship between two values so i am seeing there is a relationship so original price and current price so there is a linear i think relationship in that one here also relationship is that one and that is what original price the current price so in the first video in the first class we have talked about that we have to do feature engineering on these three parts right so that also here also you can see that there is an indication of that one so like that you can find so many other information about the data i will highly recommend to go and do all these things by yourself so that you can also find some of the information in that one so let's sns dot dot heat map heat map is also uh, one of the important things that it it is also given by the data profiling but we, we can also do the manually you can see uh, don't know why it's coming to time okay for okay just so as you can see here it is giving the uh, correlation among the data and it's showing in a graphical format as you can see discount price has a highly correlation with the uh, original price and current price right so there is a negative correlation that you can see and there is a high correlation among the original price and the original price obviously and the current price also right um, so i might so there are some points that we can I think annotate I can make it true and then see yes this is the annotation is there so you can see it's giving the correlation value so this one current price and the original price is highly correlated so we have to do some of the data feature, uh, feature engineering part to remove this correlation right okay 
so this is it for this video if you have any question you can ask in the comment okay in the next video what we will do uh, we will going to prepare our data for the modeling part so in the preparation part we basically focus on the feature engineering and do some of the normalization or standardization of the data okay thank you